Today we are taking a look at all of the alternate art Pokemon cards that you can pick up for under $20. And as you guys can see here, we're starting with the worst. We're going to start with the cheapest and we're going to work our way up. I'm going to give my thoughts on each card. We're going to check out the chart and let's just jump into it. So this is the Conkeldur from Pokemon Go. Uh, obviously, if you just take a look at this artwork, you, you can see why it's the least valuable uh, alt art. Um, but that being said, I think this set gets hated on a maybe a little bit more than it should. It's not very good, and this art's not very good. Uh, but there is a scenario in which I could see this being, you know, more than a $3 card, at least $5. So, you know, down the road. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's, you know, these alt arts aren't the easiest to pull. So um, just just keep that in mind. You know, I, I'm not picking this one up personally, but, you know, it's there for you guys. Let's just let's get away from that one. Now, this when I was searching on TCG player, these are all on a TCG player. Uh, this one came up as an alternate art promo. I don't even honestly know where this came from, but I just wanted to point out that this is a really nice looking Sylveon and you can pick this up for around five bucks right now. And I don't know what what promo that what what this came in or anything, uh, but they have it listed as an alternate art promo. So correct me if I'm wrong if you guys uh, let me know in the comments. But um, I think that this is a really great looking card, a little bit older. You got the GX um, era there. And so, you know, at a five at five dollars for a alternate art, um, I think it's a great looking card. I don't think you could really go wrong with something like that. Next up, we got some some newer stuff here. This is Fusion Strike, the Sandaconda. Now, once again, maybe not the best um, artwork going on here. Not the coolest Pokemon. The Pokemon's okay, I would say. But I think, for me, what uh, the art style looks fine. It kind of looks like a watercolor kind of thing a little bit maybe going on. Uh, but this, like, space heater over here. And then this, like, this this person should be, the trainer should be visible. And this should be not taking up most of the card, in my opinion. However, uh, what is this, six, five, six dollar um, alt art from Fusion Strike, which is a popular set. As you guys can see, it's on a little bit of a downturn. It was up around eight dollars. So if we expand, the, let's expand this chart out a little bit more. We'll go out one year. So it, it was around four dollars and then it hovered in the twos for a while, spiked up to around eight and now it's around five. So um, this might not be the worst time to pick up this card. Um, you just never know, like Fusion Strike's just going to keep running over time, and it is an alt art, so, um, this, this should have some room to, some room to go, even the, the lesser alt arts are tough to pull, so, um, I don't think that this would be a bad pickup at $5, this chart could start coming up, um, from there, so, yeah, the Sandaconda, not a bad card, it's just not great. Now this card, the Skunk Tank, now this is from Silver Tempest, uh, Silver Tempest is, you know, kind of on the move right now a little bit as well. Now this one I think has a lot more potential and obviously the price indicates that as well. It's at $7.80 currently. You can see right here, someone has it for nine bucks. Uh, we'll pull up the, the last solds were around seven, but one was up higher around 10. So, you know, between that seven to $10 range, currently it was at 10 back in May. We'll pull the chart out. It was higher than that before. It was over 12 uh, a year ago. So and it dipped down all the way down to around four dollars so I, I think the skunk tank if you start to look at the art here you got the paris in the background you got there's underground in this little burrow there's little babies i think that this is while not as popular of a pokemon a much better artwork going on i really actually like this one a lot and this is definitely a pickup for me uh, silver tempest is gonna is going to continue to take off and once again alternate arts you know can be tough to pull so um i don't think you can go wrong with with the skunk tank v from silver tempest uh it's 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 a cool card i, I like it now this is just an interesting card that i stumbled across same thing i was looking through uh the alt art and this came up as uh we're still under ten dollars currently alt art promo now this blacksmith but i thought cool you got the pig knight in the back and I, that's why I like, I don't normally like the, these trainer cards, but when they have a Pokemon in it, um, and once again, this is labeled as an alt art promo. I don't know what this is from, to be honest. So just keep that in mind. But I thought with the Pokemon, I like the stance and I like everything going on. I think it's a, it's a cool looking card. The last solds were around, you know, between eight, 870 and as high as 1160. 
the one year chart it, this card was higher it was around twelve dollars it dipped down to eight and now it's around nine ish so uh, i think this is an intriguing card probably not the most going to be one of those like sought after cards but if you want to pick up an alt art promo for a good price you know check out this blacksmith card it's 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 interesting and i like it so um i would maybe not as some as much as some of these other alt arts but all right then we have the uh the haunch crow out of brilliant stars now this one as you can see is on a different sort of chart currently this is well, this one's around 10 bucks maybe not the most popular pokemon as well but you can see it's a nice artwork and i do like this card this card a lot 10 bucks um let's pull up the one year let's see so this card was was above this price before it was at 11 now we're at like 10 so it's not like this card hasn't been up and i think this card is going to continue to climb and at least to meet its its old high and i'm going to keep saying it guys alt arts are hard to pull so if you guys want to be scooping up these these lesser known alternate arts now might be the time that this uh you can play this you you can try and play this chart out you know, I don't know if this is going to dip or if this is going to continue to rise because of what all of these Sword and Shield boxes are doing, uh, Brilliant Stars included. So I think that this would be a scoop up at $10 mark. I don't I don't think you could go wrong, especially long term. Next up, we have the Greed, and I think it's just a little bit more expensive. Um, I don't particularly like the artwork style quite as much, but it is adorable, uh, as you guys can see. So, you know, Fusion Strike popular set um 10 bucks right now although somebody snagged one for 450 that was a steal that's a, crazy actually um for near mint copy too um if we pull up the chart on the one year we can see that we a year ago you know 11 bucks so once again my my kind of advice would be same thing that this is a pickup personally i wouldn't hesitate picking up these um i thought I love this attack right here. Attack 2. Nom 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 incisors. Uh, adorable card. Right? I don't think you guys can go wrong. Uh, down the road, you know, this is going to come up in value. Now this is a card, uh, this Ur Urshifu. Now we're getting uh, up there. I'm trying to keep this in the sub 20s overall. And this is a card I've talked about um, a bit in some of my other videos. I think that this is a cool card. I think it's underrated. Battle styles, you know, not the strongest set, but still a cool one. And I think that at, what is this, at, if you can pick this up for 14 bucks, although it looks like some of these sales have been higher, we had a near mint at just under 20. So if you're getting this 16, I mean, even, even at $20, I could see this being way higher than a $20 card in the future. So just because of how uh, visually nice this card is. And the Pokemon, while maybe not the most popular, is a cool looking Pokemon, so... I like the the Urshifu cards, and yeah, I have this. I have a few copies of this card, so um, I'm already a I'm already a supporter of this card. So just keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with this one either. All of these cards, you know, these some of these alt arts are just undervalued um, across the board, even the more expensive ones. And you know, I think they're gonna do well over time. The Dora Ludon um, V. Now this one is from Evolving Skies, which once again, extremely popular set, right? And we're about at that $15 range with some sales going a little higher, you know, you got around 18, so 15 to 18, we'll call it. Uh, we'll pull up the one year. The one year was, you know, around 17, just under $18. Mm, probably once again, same thing, not the most popular Pokemon, hence why this is one of the lower alt arts, but if you want to be, pick up a nice alt art from the best set from Sword and Shield. Um, I don't think you could go wrong at 15 bucks either. I think long term you're going to see uh, appreciation on this card, personally. So I don't think you could go wrong with this. Just just something to bring to your guys' attention. Next up we have the Metacham. And this one's a little silly, this face that he's making. But we do have some cool Pokemon in the background. Uh, the Jumpluff, Min, Minin, and Plusle, Hopip cloister right so like i do like this card and this is from evolving skies as well you can see we're at like 15 bucks here same thing i think that this is a pickup i don't think you can really go wrong you pull the one year out the one year's a little different it's a, it's a little bit more consistent with some dips though 
you know, it goes to 14, it dips down, it comes to 14, it dips down, it comes back up to 14. So you can try and time that for another dip, um, or which might happen on this card. It seems like that's been kind of what happens. But even if you pick up at the $14 range, I don't think you're going to be you're going to be too bad off. It's evolving skies after all, so kind of a kind of a no-brainer in my opinion. Uh, then we got the Lilligant V. This is from Astral. Now this card really caught my attention. Um, I hadn't really I'd seen this card obviously, but I haven't really l take, taken time to really look at it. Stunning artwork. There's so many different Pokemon that are in this um, artwork. I think this is uh, really under underappreciated here, honestly. So at the $15 range, if we pull up the chart, see, so this is the highest it's been in the past year. It, and it did hit about 17 But I think that this card, this artwork is too good for an, for an alternate art. There's too many other good Pokemon in here. This is a great card. This is a really good buy. I, I don't see how this couldn't, this couldn't just, over time, just keep going up. People are going to eventually like i've said in other videos the other alt arts become too expensive probably maybe while you're watching this one you want to pick up some cheap ones and so the the cheaper ones you know they will rise eventually and not always there's always exceptions but i think that this card really stands out if you just start to look at the artwork um let me know in the comments if you guys agree if you like this card uh, so yeah i don't think you can go wrong with this card at 15 bucks next up we got another uh urshifu same thing same story different card a uh, cooler card in, in a different way. Uh, I'm still all in on this card as well. It's at about 17 bucks. You can see it's been on a little bit of a run. This is from Battle Styles. Uh, we pull up the one year here. And this is at its one year high. So uh, keep that in mind. But Battle Style, this is... I mean, come on. Why don't you just start to look... Cool Pokemon. Great looking card. Super cool, right? Uh, 18 bucks. This is a buy. This is a buy all day. Somebody bought at 25 or 2405, I should say. So, but yeah, if you can pick this up around the $18, uh, 18, 18 to 20, um, I think that long term, this is another really great pickup. I don't think you can go wrong. Um, so, yeah, great alt art right there. Uh, next up, this is from Chilling Rain. This is the Ice Rider Calyrex. And you can see the trajectory of this card. Chilling Rain's been doing things, big things. This is another one of those cards where I think this is just a really underappreciated artwork with, while maybe the uh, target Pokemon isn't the most popular, there's some adorable background Pokemon, and I do like the artwork of this card. So if we pull up on the one year, we'll see that this was at 20, so we're getting back to its one year high. Um, I don't think you can go wrong, once again, with any of these cards on this list at this point. So these these sets are just going to continue to run and especially alt arts alt arts some of these alt arts are undervalued people are moving into these so don't miss your chance uh, to move into these alt arts before they're you know too high in price and you're gonna you're gonna come back to this video and wish that you would have picked up some of these all right now we're like just touching over the 20 dollars mark so i wanted to include a few of these so this is the uh, reggie drago v this is from silver tempest uh, i actually just sent one of these to psa so, the, uh, and I, yeah, I had a nice looking copy, so pretty stoked on that. But you can see this little price run up. Um, yeah, it's up to, if we pull up the one year, is that, it is not at its one year high, but it is approaching it. So, uh, kind of same story. I don't think you can go wrong. Obviously, if you could have bought in at these $11, then that would have been better. But, um, and not once again not the most popular pokemon but the artwork is kind of cool silver tempest i mean maybe a little bit weaker if i'm being honest um for just the pokemon but you get a loogie in the background so that's kind of cool uh so keep that in mind uh I, I i don't think you can go wrong with this either any like honestly it's just any alt art at this point these low dollar alt arts you gotta you gotta scoop them they're rare so scoop them all you can all right, and lastly, uh, this is from Fusion Strike as well, and it's hovering, I think, yeah, so they have the market at like just over 20 bucks, so I included it as well. The Genesect, I don't think this is the most popular Pokemon. Uh, I do have my, this is my nephew's favorite Pokemon, which is wild. Don't understand that, but anyways, 
um we got the uh the smeargle up here in the background he's break dancing or i think he's break dancing anyways he's doing something cool it's a great looking card and it's just from a great set fusion strike like pull up the one year just like everything else it's at its one year high so um you can you can try and play and wait that out and see if we get a little bit of a dip off of this but i think long term you know if you pick this up in the 20 dollars range you're not going to be complaining it's kind of the story of all of these cards in my opinion i think that they all they all will have some room to run uh with a few exceptions and i kind of touched on those but I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to touch on uh, $20 and under alternate arts. And I think we touched on all... I mean, there's more out there, but these are the ones that I deemed worthy of talking about. So yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.